What is going on, you guys? Like I said, 1999 on YouTube. <laughs> As you can tell, I bought something recently. A little unfortunate thing, the box is kind of toast. And I still have many questions. How on earth did this car get put upside down before it was put in the package? Can anyone <laughs> answer me that? Uh, first time in, who knows, I believe this one years this thing. Hang on a minute. 1985, so that's what year it is, so it's first time in almost a long time, but again, this package is pretty smashed, so, but we're going to at least try opening it as easily as it can without destroying it anymore, because uh, it is not going to be easy, I'm just going to use my old handy dandy. thing here and I'm just gonna throw them on the collar come on I do it without uh, breaking the okay I can now let's get him the right side back up I mean I don't know how on earth he was upside down for all those years. Hope it didn't mess him up or anything, but. Oh, I got a lot of dust on him. Yes, they do. They're going to need a polish. But we, what do we have here to begin with? Huh? Oh, a front wheel drive sit friend. And you know what? We're throwing him on the. You should already know what we're using for this. <laughs> yep. Let's see, this one's gonna need a polish too. It might not fit on here. No, it doesn't. That's a problem. So he don't fit. Yeah, these. And some dust too. I don't know if he's gonna fit. Someone tells me he won't. Yeah, because he's gonna be too wide. So if he don't fit, I guess it wasn't the smartest idea to bring pull out the car hauler. A nice one. He fits fine. And this is another. Here's this one. 84. So, realistically, <laughs> yep, just what I suspected. Two of those cars. Does the other one fit on here? I just don't want to see. Or is it too wide? Oh, yep, it's too wide. <laughs> uh, I wonder, would the other one work better? The one I have always, I don't like to use a lot. Let's try it, because it, it works on wider cars so much better. And you know, it works better on these wider cars. The only problem is, it don't hold as much. But, it does work better on these. I'm not going to throw that package out, obviously. It's just, it is very toast. I mean, there is actually a rip on the front here, and it's, it's been the, it's, again, it's been sitting since 85, so, and these things are going to get a little bit of wax done to them, because they do have some dust, especially the citron I'm noticing, I don't know why, it, unless it's just the paint, you guys can tell me below if it's just the paint, or, it's, or it has some, like, imperfections in it. But, other than that, I mean, I think, again, it's just going to need a wax job. But, I did pay a, a decent amount of money for it, but, in the long run, I think it was worth it. Still going to keep the box, it's just, you know, 
that was coming back in here. He might use them for a couple videos, but right now I'm going to try to take care of this box as much as I can. Because I just know already the box is in pretty rough shape. I thought using this one would be perfect, but clearly it wasn't because some of these cars are very fat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying that. Fat. Yep. <laughs> and, yep. I mean, hang on a minute. Let's compare this to this. So one, where's the one really fat Jaguar? <laughs> Here's your comparison. Modern Hot Wheel compared to a... What year is this hot, uh, Matchbox car? 1984. <laughs> I mean, it's a... Very fat. I'm not even sure it's going to fit on a Hot Wheel track. I mean, I have a piece over here. Might as well try. Oh, it does fit. Okay, so it does fit on a Hot Wheel track. I wasn't thinking it was going to fit. But that's just me, because, well... <laughs> This is probably my first one again. I know this was in rough shape. I just brought this Jaguar out just to do a comparison because it's a modern one. Well, modern to Matchbox or Hot, no, Hot Wheel standards. Excuse my French. <laughs> kind of hope you enjoyed this episode. You know, and yes, I know I bought something expensive, so you can tell me below in the comments what you guys think. With the smash, really, sm it, 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 it's been smashed a couple times. Question is, I'm going to be able to get back in here without destroying it. Because, again, it's in, it's had a, a few hits here and there. And I do think someone may have had this sitting in there. I can get it back in here. Okay. I only opened one side. I kept the other side closed, but oh, it's even got a rip. <laughs> see, you see what I mean? Rip here, a tear here. This is not all. Sh I mean, sh straight. This side. There's the Kmart, so I didn't want to rip, you know, that side with the Kmart. I know this is removable, but I, I'm not taking that off. And if you're wondering what other two cars I bought, I bought a... Hang on a minute. I'll just, uh, I'll just tell you what I had. I... Wait. Uh, okay, I didn't know I just did that. <laughs> I'll just tell you, I bought a switchback and a, a LT, you know, lamp and Countach, but kind of hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this, even though it was very interesting getting this open for the first time since 1985. And how well did it go? Interesting. <laughs> we'll see you all in the next one.